What's up, guys? Welcome. If it's your first time tuning in, my name is Debbie. And here on this channel, I talk about all things fragrance. I love fragrance. I am obsessed with fragrance. It is my passion. And for those of you who are subscribed, you are truly appreciated. If you are not subscribed, then go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. And then go ahead and ring that notification bell so that every time I put out a new video, you guys are notified. Guys, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but I have been so busy with homeschooling my kids. It has been hectic. So I am here now and I am ready, <laughs> okay? So I am gonna talk to you about some dupes that I own in my collection. So these dupes, I'm gonna tell you whether they are worth the hype or if they are nothing alike. Dupes are cheaper versions of expensive perfumes. That is what a dupe is. Some of them are made to be dupes. And then I, I think I have one that is a that people say is a dupe, but it wasn't really made to be a dupe. So I'm just going to give you my thoughts on that. I remember, guys, I always recommend you guys trying before you buy because everyone is different. And what I like, you may not like. So let's get started. OK, so the first one that I'm going to talk to you about, OK, is this one right here. And this is Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. So there is a dupe for this one, and it is called The Pride of Armoff by Armoff. So this was made to be a dupe of Carolina Herrera, Good Girl. So this is the packaging. It reminds me like of little dominoes, that the dominoes where you slide it up like, <laughs> yeah, it's just like a, and there it goes. And I mean, it's not a, it's a cute, packaging it's not that bad right and then you have this red bottle and it says the pride of armoff by armoff and this is the edp you guys i have to tell you that these perfumes let me put this over here <laughs> these perfumes are so similar so similar. I'm going to tell you guys what notes they share. I'm not going to get into all the notes that they each have, but I'm going to tell you what they share. So the shared notes in common that they have are jasmine, almond, tonka bean, cocoa, and coffee. Okay. And you can smell all of, all of those notes in both of them. The only difference that I could say is that the Carolina Herrera good girl is stronger. It has more of a strong, when you spray it, it's a stronger blast. This one is a little bit watered down. It's like if you take Carolina Herrera and you add a little bit of water. I'm, now I'm not saying that this one is way watered down. I'm just saying that this one has a sharp kind of smell when you spray it. And this one is, doesn't have that sharpness to it. But I can tell you that they are like 90% similar. The Carolina Herrera Good Girl gives me like six hours, I would say, in staying power. Now, this is on my skin. And I would say that the Pride of Armoff gives me like four hours. Um, so this one does last longer, the good girl, but I would say, guys, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a perfume and you're okay with respraying after four hours, I would definitely go with this. I mean, this, I'm telling you, you guys, they're so similar. I was shocked when I got this perfume. I'm like, wow, they are so similar. And actually, you know, some people do not enjoy that sharp uh, smell with the Carolina Herrera. So I would say if you don't enjoy the sharpness, 
This one right here is a little less spicy. So I would definitely check this out, try it out. Um, you can't go wrong for 30 bucks. I mean, you're getting this for 30 bucks versus over a hundred dollars for a 3.4 ounce. So yeah, this one is the Pride of Armoff by Armoff. Let's get into the second one that I'm gonna talk to you about, which actually is not a dupe. It was not made to be a dupe that I know of. I mean, I don't think that it was made to be a dupe. I just think that they so happen to be a little bit similar. And that's going to be the bond number nine, Greenwich Village, and Ariana Grande Cloud. So this one came with an attachment, guys. I just, it's too bulky. Yeah, this goes in here like this. I, I don't like that. That's too bulky, so I don't use this. I just put it on my on my shelf like this. Okay, so what do I think about these two? Are they similar or are they not similar? So I'm going to read to you which notes these share in common. So the notes that they share in common are praline, musk, vanilla, and bergamot. So first of all, this one right here has lychee in it. The bond number nine has lychee in it. And I said in a prior video that I have that this one is, is more like a little bit masculine on the masculine side to me, the bond number nine. And so I would say that this is a more feminine kind of smell. Like it has, they, I wouldn't say that they smell, I would say you do get the musk and the vanilla and the praline in both of them. You do get the bergamot, but this, but the bond number nine lasts so long. It has lasting power, you guys. I gave this to my husband, but I just love this perfume. It is unisex. And I do spray it on sometimes just to get the whiff. I just love this. But I do find it more on the masculine side. So with this one, I find it more like a cotton candy, kind of like. And I don't get that with, with the bond number nine. I don't get that cotton candy vibe with this one. Yeah, it does. You get a lot of the bergamot in this. I would say I don't find it to be a dupe because this on my skin does not last. This is, it smells really good, but it just does not last on my skin. Maybe, maybe it's because of where I live. It is really, really hot, dry heat. So maybe this one just doesn't hold up the Ariana Grande cloud, but I would say that the Greenwich Village definitely holds up in this heat and it definitely is very long lasting. As far as them being similar, I, I would say that maybe a couple of the notes, maybe the praline, because of the praline, they're, they're alike. I just, I don't see them being that much alike. And I don't think that this is a dupe for this. I just feel like you can have these both and they, they both perform differently and they're both different fragrances to me. That's how I feel. So yeah, they have a little bit of a similarity, but I wouldn't say it's a total dupe. I would not say that they're close enough that I would consider it to be a dupe. So yeah, this is a uh, Greenwich Village bond number nine and Ariana Grande Cloud. They are two lovely fragrances, and this one is a cheapie, and this one is retail for like three hundred and fifty bucks. It is a very expensive perfume. So if you want something that's a little similar 
and you don't want to spend that much money, then I do recommend you trying out Ariana Grande Cloud. They're also saying that Baccarat Rouge 540 is a dupe for Bond Number 9 Greenwich Village. I think I smelled that once and I do think that they're very similar, but I have not been able to test it out long enough to say that for sure. So yeah, that's these two. And like I said, I don't consider them to be close enough to where I would consider them to be dupes. All right, so let's keep going with the next one. So the next one, need some caffeine guys. The next one is, I should have taken it out the packaging guys. But anyway, lovely. This is Parfum Zamali. And this is Selena Exclusive. And we have Layered First Kiss Exclusive. And this is by Layered. So this is a dupe for this lovely, lovely fragrance right here. And guys, this is really, like, I got to tell you, I consider these fragrances to be so, so similar. So the notes that they share is rose, vanilla, incense, pear, and lychee. So this one right here is a very powdery, powdery scent. The Delina exclusive is powdery, right? But it's also creamy. That's the only difference that I would say that these two fragrances have. And also another thing is that Delina exclusive has musk in it and the layer does not have the musk in it. So when the dry down, they smell very similar, except this one is more on your powdery side and this one is powdery musk and creamy. But I gotta say that they're like 85% similar. And I would say that this has a huge price tag on it. And this is like, I think like 50 bucks. You can get it from Layered. And when I tell you guys that no one would know the difference. Like if they don't know this perfume that well, you can get away with saying you have this one on because perfume smells different on everyone. So no one's gonna know you're not wearing this. You can say, I'm wearing Parfums de Marly Deline Exclusive. Guys, you gotta check this out. I'm telling you, again, they did a wonderful, Layer did a really, really good job in making this fragrance and making it a dupe of the Delina Exclusive because it is very similar. And like I said, if you like powdery fragrances, this one is very, they're both powdery. But when I tell you this one is a little bit more powdery, I really enjoy the musk and the dry down on this one. Honestly, you guys, if you're not worried about packaging, I would say that this is just, just as good. And the lasting power is really, really good on both of these. I would say I probably get, this is an eight hour. I would say this is, Probably an hour less because I've tested them. This one you have, if you have like the, the staying power of eight hours, this one you will probably get six to seven hours, depending. I'm telling you, it's worth it. You can respray it. It's not a big deal. But when you spray this one, this one comes off as heavier than this one. When you first spray it, you think that the layered first kiss exclusive is going to outlast the Parfums de Marly Zelina exclusive, but it doesn't. In the end, the Zelina is a little bit longer lasting. I mean, my thoughts, if you don't want to spend $350 on retail on this, on the Zelina, you can definitely get this for like the layered first kiss exclusive for like 50 bucks. 
Yeah, and I think, and let me tell you, this is one of their best sellers, you guys. This perfume is always out of stock. Make sure you get your hands on it and give it a whiff. They also have the discovery sets of, and it comes with a few of them. You can try a sample of it before you buy it. But I mean, for 50 bucks, you can't go wrong. It smells like a $350 perfume. I mean, seriously, you can't go wrong, you guys. I really, really recommend you trying this. So yeah, and that is my video for my dupes. So guys, let me know what are your thoughts? What dupes do you have? And how similar are they? Guys, comment below. Thank you for watching my video. And I will see you very, very soon. God bless you all.